Today in WinUAE, we're going to be looking at the feature of disk swapping because there were quite a few Amiga games that came with multiple disks, like for example here, Eye of the Beholder 2. So with WinUAE loaded up, uh, what we're going to do is just load up a default config. So I've got the A1200 uh, on quick start and I'm just going to do set configuration. If you don't see this button, it means that you've got uh, this quick start mode enabled. So just untick that and do set configuration. And then we definitely know that we've got an A1200. Just go go to floppy drives and then we've got DFO just selected. So we've only got the one drive. Um, I'm going to put the speed up a bit just for convenience and uh, as you can see we've got eye of the beholder here but uh, as a demo what I'm actually going to do is show you the workbench disks because that's more uh, visual uh, for you to see what disks are actually inserted. So the first disk we'll go boot up with is the workbench disk so uh, this is the normal way of adding a disk so far. Uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to go to disk swapper here and we're going to click on the first one click insert floppy disk image and now we can see number one is Amiga OS 31 workbench the workbench disk and at the moment it's in DF0 so we can double click on number two and let's say I want that to be extras in our game that will be disk 2 um, and then let's do fonts as disk 3 and then say double click on number 4 that will be I don't know our storage disk okay so as you can see we've got one two three four we've got four disks and this would be your game so if we click on start now we'll wait for that to load up okay and we've got workbench loaded up so as you can see we've got the workbench disk in and that's all working at the moment so if I press end key hold that down and press number two what should we should see pop up on the screen is there we go our extras disk and I didn't have to go into the F12 menu at all to change that and if 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 we see look df0 extras there we go and it was all from shortcut keys so I can go back to end 3 so I'm inserting my disk 3 that was my fonts disk there we go uh, end 4 and then our storage disk will load up and there we go you can see we can see the contents of that fantastic so that is a nice quick easy way of swapping discs so if you've got a game with a lot of discs I remember uh, what was it the Monkey Island 2 had a lot of discs um, Simon the Sorcerer that was a lot of discs I think that was about nine discs so this is a really useful technique just to um, if you've got a game that's got a lot of discs and you're going to be swapping a lot of discs you can do these all with keyboard shortcuts if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video